hey guys okay so um i'm in the middle of taking off my costume because it's taken a really long time and like i didn't want to record the process because it's too much but um i did want to show you a little, little sneak peek of it because i am going to be doing a halloween vlog ish or like just i don't know showing stuff off so i'm gonna do a few full videos i mean i took pictures so i am gonna show you that but like i didn't want to show you the process of me putting it on and putting it off like this costume requires two to three people to put it on okay because the zippers are all in the back or the sides or like the bottom and there is no room to move um so yeah i'm gonna give you a quick snippet of what it looks like i currently only have one boot on and technically i still have the one piece but like the top is off you can see from my shoulders um but yeah okay first of all ignore the sound that is coming from that side is my dog's water fountain so yeah it's purifying his water you know whatever and ignore the mess in the background <sighs> it's whatever okay so the costume is currently my the arms are out but yeah it has the shoulder pads on the sleeves and then it has this black mesh here because like this is being covered by the vest and then these are the legs and the shoes hold on there you go there you go you don't have to see my feet but yeah it's really good quality but i'm gonna finish taking it off and i'll let you know more about it hi all right so um the costume i bought it from sim cosplay um i'm sure we could put a dis the, the link in the description down below or you know somewhere in the video but i bought it from sims cosplay um it was really pricey but if you want like a good quality costume that is like basically a replica from the the movie tv show whatever itself if you want a costume that is basically a replica you can buy it there i mean there's other website as well but sims cosplay was the one that i used and already like as soon as i bought it i had some problems um so it's very hard to get in contact with them um like they like they sent me an email saying that my order was confirmed but then i would be like hey can i get an update and they never, you know, updated. Like, I sent them an email to the same email that they gave me. And they would never respond. I sent them three emails before I reached anywhere or got anywhere. Um, but, like, some of you might say, like, oh, maybe it's that, you know, do not respond type of email. But And, like, I thought so, too. But, like, after I, like searched and like finally wind up on their facebook page and it said that the email to contact them at was the same email that i was emailing before so i don't know they were just very unprofessional then um when i finally got the the order information whatever like i just waited and then um, and then I finally got here, and I, I was very happy, and I'm still very happy, kind of, um, with the order. It's just that things that are manufactured in China run smaller. Keep this in mind. 
most things that come from China run smaller. So next time, if there's ever a next time, we, I will buy a size over. And like, even then I, I was already ordering a size larger cause I'm a large and I bought an extra large, but apparently I had to buy an extra, extra large because it fits. But like, just about, just about fits, like, like, it just closes. And then like the quality, like I said, the quality is very good. The problem is, oh, that's a horrible angle, I'm sorry. Uh, the problem is that, like, they spent a lot of money on the material and the fabric and the, and the whatever. And then they, they cut corners on the most important thing in a costume which is the zipper and the buttons and the, the stitching they cut a lot of corners there because all the zippers busted like and it wasn't like it didn't close because it did close but like i moved the wrong way or i stretched it the wrong way it busted and it busted in the important places okay i'm gonna show you really quickly what i mean okay i'm back so when i say like this thing is a workout it's a workout okay so right now i have all the pieces here that fit like this thing this is the boot part the bottom part of the the shoe this is the the calf part it closes but just barely the bodysuit itself it closes but just barely and already already i've had a rip in the sorry i'm recording my thumb i've already had a rip in the crotch area that i was able to very mediocre mediocrely so back with my sewing machine so yeah it fit but just barely and then the one thing the very important thing that broke was the stupid chest piece now let's talk about the chest piece let's talk about this amazing quality like look at that like detailed to the brim right detailed like extravaganza right is beautiful it's amazing i loved it the star piece itself is metal like metal like i'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this against other metal oh well, that doesn't work i don't know i don't know where to hit it but it's metal it's metal you can't hear that but it's metal okay it's metal so it's amazing oh this is a good way to show you it's bolted down to the costume it's good quality but they spent so much time on the actual costume piece that with the zipper they were like eh fuck it and it broke it broke in several places. Um, it's not on this side, it's on this side. Like, I don't know if you could tell. Ignore this little clip thingy right there. You see, some of the zipper pieces are missing. And then, what else? On the bottom, well you can't tell anymore because I put clips, they were all twisted. So yeah, as you saw, I put clips on the side, but what does this cause? This causes the freaking flap thing that covers the zipper to stand out. The thing that covers the zipper, it stands out because now it's being held together by clips. I mean, I could add more clips, but like this is more work. Like I literally paid so that I didn't have to do all this work because I could probably make it myself. I could make all of this myself if I like, Put the time and the effort and the money i could probably do it myself 
but I paid so I didn't have to do it myself and I'm still over here like fucking DIYing it like it's very annoying but I'm still very happy with the costume because even if I did DIY it I would not have gotten to this extent of detail so it's okay um I'm gonna put up a picture of the freaking costume on and don't cut corners guys don't cut corners okay make sure you read everything I mean I read all the reviews and the, all the reviews that it was great and whatever but if you're buying from China size up by like a lot okay because it's better to go bigger and then have to cut down than go smaller and then have to magically make it bigger so everything fits but just barely okay I'm like I can't move certain angles okay it's so tight like, it feels like a corset you know how you are unable to move the corset fits but you're unable to move that's what it feels like but yeah um so on halloween i'll make sure to do a video on what we do i'm probably gonna go trick-or-treating with my sister uh there's gonna be a parade here so yeah i'm gonna do that and then you'll see my costume in full i'm still debating on whether to wear the wig or keep my hair the way it is because like i don't know but yeah uh thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe um and yeah leave your comments down below telling me what you think and if i did good if i did not good if it looks good um yeah <laughs>